All right. So good morning again and welcome to our Microsoft webinar. Uh, today we're going to talk about Microsoft Viva as a platform. My name is Ross Chiasi. I'm a technical specialist uh, with Microsoft and uh, we wanted to talk about um, Viva topics, Viva insights and Viva connections and engage. And last but not least, Viva Learning. Uh, I'm joined by my uh, team here, Anthony, Jeff, and Dustin as moderators. Uh, we wanted to make sure that this is an in interactive experience for you all. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the chat and I'll, I'll make sure that I have frequent breaks in between my presentation and making sure that we're addressing your questions. So, further ado, we should actually, um, we all would like to get started and talk about Microsoft Viva. All right. So, um, this um, session will be recorded just uh, uh, if you want it, uh, just as an FYI, and we can share out the recording with you at the end of the presentation. Okay, um, the question is why Microsoft Viva and uh, what led to the employee experience overall, what was what led to it? Um, and so what Viva, uh, you know, after the pandemic, we noticed that a lot of us had to kind of experience different way of working, right? And so that which changed pretty much the, the way, uh, you know, we're, we're uh, we're working, we're working from home, we're um, probably, um, you know, getting used to this hybrid work environment. And uh, um, overall, we felt that, you know, that uh, we needed an employee experience platform that empowers people and the team to be at their best, no matter where they're from, working from, whether they're at home or at the office or at Starbucks. The idea is, you know, to bring, uh, to create more of a cohesive experience for uh, for the employees to um, bring the team together and uh, to be able to gain insight um, into our working habits, um, having the ability to um, better understand, you know, how do I work uh, as an individual? How am I feeling? Uh, am I emotionally, uh, you know, well balanced. Do I to take? Do I need to take more frequent breaks? Um, do I have enough focus time? And all those various aspects of learning. This is kind of where what led to the uh, Microsoft Viva platform. And our goal was to essentially um, to simplify that experience for all the employees, managers, and and leaders. And so we were thinking, so we're already using Microsoft Teams as our communication vehicle to do meetings, to do chat, to do uh, video conferencing. And so we extended that experience and incorporated all these various aspects of uh, the, you know, collaboration, uh, meetings, phone calls, but also, uh, you know, to extend that beyond just the basic communication and um, having a, uh, really efficient, complete um, uh, a vehicle to provide that unique experience. So with the introduction of uh, Microsoft Viva, team is uh, taken to next level, but kind of innovative new services and insights that is focused on people development and, and success. And so, yeah, essentially what we're doing right now with Viva is taking all uh, various pillars that are important for me as an employee um, to be better engaged in my work and also be more productive. So there are essentially five pillars. And so they're, you know, the well being and engagement, right? So um, going back to that uh, previous um, backdrop of me, um, you know, working from home or maybe. Um, working uh, from a remote location, um, someone's been disconnected. How am I doing mentally? Uh, what's my um, uh, emotional well-being? Um, do I have a purpose or am I, you know, in terms of alignment, um, are, 
is what I am doing, contributing to the overall company's uh, goal. Uh, what am I doing for growth and development, right? So learning and coaching. Um, am I deeply integrated in my uh, communication and, and culture uh, in terms of you know, how I communicate? Do I use proper communication tools? Am I just using emails? I'm also maybe using uh, various uh, ways of communicating and being in touch with my teammates. Last but not but not least, um, having all this information, all this data flowing at me, um, is this all like, uh, you know, am I truly digesting the information properly and uh, so this is kind of like all these various aspects of me as the employee be at the center of at all of this. And this is kind of where, where Viva is going to help me to process that information. So in a nutshell, it's the it's a you know employee experience platform that is empowering people and teams to be the best, regardless of where they're working from, right? Again, uh, location independent. <clears throat> and it's all living inside Microsoft Teams. Um, and the goal is for us to simplify that experience for whether it's for my for me as an employee or for managers and leaders. So um, there's some statistics and statistics. The typical you know statistics typically don't lie, and but we understand that you know the studies always have shown that companies that invest in their employees and improve their working experience it always leads to. Um, or of a positive uh, employee engagement, well-being, and ultimately more productivity. Um, and um, you know, we as in, uh, all of us as employees, we want to grow, we want to connect, and we want to have a purpose. And this is kind of where we focus. We focus as a platform to um, surface that through Viva, uh, Viva platform, essentially. For example, what can I do? Uh, we can uh, keep everyone informed, included, and inspired. That's like the connection piece, right? So we'll look at it like Viva Connections, Viva Engage. Um, how does that keeping me always informed and involved, especially working hybrid and me not being in the office all the time? You know, maybe having a chatter with my coworkers. Now I want to be, but now more than ever, I need to be connected, right? Um, how about you know improving productivity and well-being with actionable insights? That's kind of like you know what we had in the past with workplace analytics or uh, my analytics, and now we wrapped it into Viva Insights. Uh, the purpose is obviously something is uh, very uh, dear to my heart because I want to make sure that what I'm doing on a daily basis has an impact, right? So our Microsoft mission is to empower everyone uh, in the world to achieve more. And uh, so as, is that what I'm doing today, um, you know, moving the needle? And so this is kind of where, um, you know, Viva Goals comes in. Last but not least for me to be able to grow and learn. So today, um, I think at the first step, I would like to start with the, uh, you know, uh, or, but before I go there again, just wanted to show you the, the components again from a different view. So these are the various components we're going to talk about with the connections, uh, which is again around uh, culture and communication. <laughs> Viva insights for productivity and well-being topics, which is, you know, um, turning information into knowledge and people learning for me for skilling, growing and uh, learning and Viva goals is uh, somewhat of a newer component for purpose and alignment. I'm going to pause here, see if there are any questions in the chat uh, and uh, if there are any questions, uh, uh, please feel free to interrupt. OK, um, the first the first component of Viva is Viva Connection. So, you know, staying engaged and informed uh, by showing your SharePoint intranet in Teams in Viva Connections. So Viva Connections essentially is nothing uh, new per se. Um, connections is um, taking or building on top of the familiar SharePoint technology and surfacing the content through Microsoft Teams. Again, we're trying to mm -hmm. 
uh, show you the information, the flow of your work, so you don't have to leave Microsoft Teams to go open up a browser and you know see what's going on, uh, what's current in my company. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we uh, <clears throat> keep everyone in the workforce connected to each other using Microsoft Teams. Uh, it makes it easier for people to contribute and to um, basically unite your organization around the, the company's vision. Um, we have obviously lots of different ways to communicate, um, but um, Eva uh, Connections is essentially Teams and SharePoint online together. And um, but you know you can still use your SharePoint if you want to, um, you know, but I think the idea is have more of a streamlined experience, whether you're on the mobile, uh, on iPad, on your computer, you're always going to see uh, content that's relevant to you. So, for example, if you have frontline workers, so let's say let's take the healthcare industry, for example. So you have nurses that are on the floor <clears throat> and maybe they need access to, you know, patient record information or maybe um, an educational organization, you have people in admission that maybe want to have access to a student record app or, uh, you know, all these various scenarios. Uh, uh, we we actually took what, what's already in SharePoint, which is audience targeting, and we make that, we surface that through uh, Teams, or in this case, Viva Connections, and give the, uh, you know, various people in different roles, the ability to see what's relevant to them. So that's kind of what Viva Connection is. So it comes with a dashboard for actions and reminders, uh, a personalized feed for company news and information, and also resources where, uh, you know, we have links for areas for, for learning and insights. And as you can kind of see based on the screenshot, and we'll go into our demo environment to see it. Um, but the the idea is to have that same the seamless experience, uh, regardless of your device, right? Um, and so it's optimized for uh, mobile experience because uh, our strategy as a company is cloud first, mobile first, and we this is deeply integrated into the Viva platform. Okay, so So uh, I hope that uh, were you able to hear the sound on this video? Um, if someone can give me a thumbs up or maybe one of my moderators can give me a little heads up. Okay. So this was kind of like a, like a little overview, uh, like a visual overview as to how it looks like. And um, before I go actually into the demo, I wanted to also point out that Viva Connections is already included as part of your license. So if you already have Office 365 licensing, so whether it's you're an educational institution on A1, A3, A5, or a commercial customer, E1, E2, or frontline SKU, it's already included. There's no additional charge to you. You can start it today. Um, you can do a POC and start uh, surfacing your content that, that you know, if, if you have an intranet, a uh, curated uh, intranet, that experience that you're currently using, you can actually use that today and uh, start rolling it out to your entire company. So already included and you can get started. Cool. Um, I guess from there on, um, I'm going to move on to um, maybe go through the experience and then maybe towards the end, I'm going to show you the um, um, 
how it looks like in our demo tenant. I don't see any questions so far, but if there's any questions, please feel free to let me know. OK, so there's various elements of Viva connections and again, I'm uh, like no, sorry if I reiterate a uh, few, you, you know, or, or talk about the uh, the same concept. But Viva Connections is surfacing the content that resides inside your SharePoint Online through Teams, and so you have various components. Uh, you know, you have the Viva Connection dashboard, which consists of, of cards and uh, that engage viewers um, with existing team apps and third party apps and solutions. Um, the uh, connection feed just automatically, you know, balances fresh and engaging content with corporate communications uh, to keep users interested. Uh, and the uh, connection resources is a, is kind of like a tab for the mobile app, uh, which automatically uses the global navigation links. Um, so just your SharePoint app bar. OK, and so that's kind of again uh, was a, a quick recap of Viva Communications and Viva Connections. Sorry, too many Viva acronyms. And so um, which is kind of like segue to um, Viva Insights, right? So now we want to discuss the element of the balance, the productivity and staying connected. Okay. <clears throat> um, and so what we've, what we've done actually at Microsoft, we surveyed um, 20,000 people in 11 countries and learned that 87 of employees say that they're productive, they're, they're, they're productive while working remotely, but only 12% of their leadership feel confident that employees are getting work done. Because again, that traditional thinking, if my employees are not at work, they probably are not working. So there is definitely that gap and it, it can be hard, right, for managers to tell if their employees are working hard when they're not in the office. And, and, and for that, because employees want to prove that they're being productive, they feel sometimes overwhelmed and maybe working too hard and overtime, right? So on working and skipping breaks essentially because now that they're working from home. And so we look at that data uh, from Microsoft 365 graph, which again, it just captures everything, all the interaction are found that on average, employees spent like 252% more time in meetings since the pandemic started. And yep, and an additional 46% are getting double booked for meetings. Um, and so, and unfortunately, almost half the employees said that they feel burnout and stressed out. And so instead of worrying about whether the employees are working enough, managers need to be actually more clear about what uh, work is more important. They also need to listen <coughs> to the employees to make sure that what you know they, they have what they need to do their job well. And also more than half of the companies fail to ask their employees for feedback about the experience at work. So they just assume um, you know that they're happy or you know they're okay doing what what they want the, what what are you know the the tools that they have their working habits but feedback is very important because it it kind of helps our business businesses to um, catch problem before they get too big and so that's kind of where uh you know we came up with the viva uh, insights that which helps companies gain that insight and create a working culture um you know where everyone can do their best work while avoiding burnout. So, Viva Insights is essentially around, um, I would say, three components. Um, the first one being my personal insight. So, this is me as an individual looking at my working habits. Hey, how do I feel this week? Am I Am I, you know, feeling emotion? Am I emotionally, you know, well balanced this week? Do I feel up, down? Do I track that? Do I take frequent breaks? Um, or maybe um, do I do I can I maintain that positive habit? Um, you know, by, for example, like you know, taking breaks and uh, following meeting best practices as an individual, right? So I have all those tools available to me through Viva Insights, and we'll see it in a minute. Um, I can take like um, we included um, Headspace, which is a great app for for you know 
meditation, uh, you know, winding down um, music, and so various articles on on how to disconnect from work, like really amazing information that's very relevant to, uh, especially now working you know, from home and being in that hybrid situation. But it gets further. So also as a team leader, as my manager, for example, he can look at, uh, you know, how, how's my team doing? Are they at the risk of being, uh, you know, uh, burnout because they're working overtime, right? Looking, talking about the previous slide. So a lot of employees are trying to do more work because they're working from home. And can I detect those patterns, kind of prevent that? Maybe I need to uh, push down a uh, working habit template to them so they can book time away, learning time, focus time for themselves in order to avoid uh, the burn, uh, you know, the burnout essentially. At the organizational level, um, you know, senior leaders can identify those opportunities to improve engagement. All the data is anonymized. So, uh, Again, it's it builds on, on on known technology which we had in the past, you know, workplace analytics, and so they can see specifics. And also, we have advanced insights. These are like powerful Power BI dashboards that can get into each aspect of you know uh, work, uh, you know, collaboration, meeting efficiency, uh, everything that's available uh, through Viva. Uh, I'm sorry, through Microsoft Graph. And this is kind of a, like a little bit of a uh, an overview as to how it looks like. The interface has slightly changed, as you know, with anything that's in the cloud. We call it ever we call it green evergreen product. So it continuously changes. It continue, continuously gets improved. Um, but the idea is to for for this slide to. Um, to um, to explain what Viva Insight is, so it provides privacy protected protected insights and actionable recommendation that help everyone in the organization to work smarter and then achieve balance. And the key is achieving the balance. Why is that important? Um, because it's relevant in the context of remote and hybrid work because it can help address some of these common challenges that we're all uh, you know. Uh, facing uh, that that come with remote work, such as isolation, burnout, and overwork. And in the current world, uh, you know, where we all work remotely, and uh, sometimes you may feel that isolation because we don't we don't see our coworkers, and uh, you know, and that's kind of where we can use Viva Insights to to help us giving giving that insight on how we can collaborate better and connect more socially and uh, even if you are not in the same place. And so, uh, yeah, and by tracking things like the meeting time, focus time, collaboration patterns, um, insights can provide personalized recommendation for us to work more efficiently and achieve a better work life balance. And essentially all of that stuff ultimately leads to increased job satisfaction and overall well-being. In short, Viva Insights helps users to gain a better understanding of their work patterns and empowers them to make more meaningful changes to improve their productivity and well-being. So I don't see any questions right now in the chat, so and I'm assuming there are no questions so far. Okay, um, I'm going to get started and uh, maybe show a little bit of uh, Viva components, Viva connections, and Viva insights. So we can, um, you know, so it's not all boring and like PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to um, stop sharing for a second. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm going to share my screen again. OK, and uh, let's go back to my demo tenant so we can show a little bit of what we've discussed so far. So I'm here in my Microsoft Teams experience. I actually open up Microsoft Teams in the browser. 
And you can see I have all this, um, you know, my team's activity. I'm actually right now logged in as Megan. And Megan Bowen is a uh, is actually an organizational leader. And so we'll see that why it's important because um, the insights that she can see is at an organizational level. Um, and we'll, we'll look at it in a second. So again, I'm Megan. I'm in my in the context, uh, in the flow of my work. I'm looking at all the meetings that I have, and I'm going to go ahead and open up Viva Connections, just like the uh, the uh, the screenshot that you saw in the presentation. Uh, there is my Viva Connection experience. So all this information is surfaced to me via SharePoint Online. So this is a curated experience. Uh, you know, people, for example, if I wanted to look at the new year, new focus on accessibility, I can see the, you know, read the contents. This is my typical intranet, right? Going back again to landing to the landing page, but also on the right hand side, I have what's called my dashboard. So uh, maybe um, I want to report some time off. I can go over here. And you can see this app is specific specific to me, uh, or it can be pretty much brought, you know, surface to everyone at the organization. But the idea is that I can, you know, come here and submit my, uh, submit my time off. And if I maybe I was a frontline worker, um, I could have maybe the health check app here or uh, any other additional uh, application. So if you work, for example, even with external application like monday.com, <clears throat> you can surface that as well. So this is kind of like the experience of Viva Connections, right? In the flow of your work, so, you know, showing you, um, you know, the experience of your SharePoint online. And um, in addition, you know, any anything, any other links that you have available, you can, um, surface that inside Viva Connections, and I have also my global navigation where I can see all the sites that I'm following. <laughs> kind of again, same thing as as SharePoint. But now I'm going to go and look at um, Viva Insights, right? So this is kind of what we discussed earlier, right? Personal recommendation, actionable insights. So. <clears throat> With my demo gods. Friendly today, please. <sighs> All right, so just waiting for a second for Viva Insights to show. And uh, maybe we give it a few seconds. All right, doesn't seem like it's to work. OK. Now, I'm going to give it two more seconds and I'm going to maybe move on. <coughs> OK. Ah, there it is. Going in like 10, few, 10 seconds. Um, so again, I'm, I'm logged in right now. As you can see, my identity is Megan Bowen and everything is driven uh, by my identity in Office 365. And I can see, um, you know, because again, I'm an organizational leader, uh, my team currently has these specific meeting uh, <coughs> habits where I can look at specific details, uh, you know, nice graphs and that that shows me like how many people I have currently my team. What are the uh, average meeting hours? How does that compare to my peer organizations, right? Organizations that, um, uh, you know, that are there that I can compare to and then see how they do it. Um, I can also go back and look at it at the company wide level, right? So, and I can see. Um, <clears throat> By various teams like Deborah's organization, or if I want to look at Lee's. And so there it is, right from the get go, I can see all the information uh, at the very top. Now, if I was a, a regular, uh, like say, you know, just an employee that was not in the leadership position or in this specific position, I wouldn't be able to see this. So again, it's it's aware of the context of who, I'm, uh, who I am and uh, what information I can see. So I can see uninter uninter uninterrupted focus hours, 
for the last week was 36. I can again go back to, to look at specific details if I wanted to. Um, 90 minutes per person uh, for manager one on one meeting hours, which is very important. Again, if I wanted to come back here and uh, actually look at specific details, how do I stack up against other other organizations? <coughs> how are they doing? And so your rich uh, back uh, uh, dashboards that are available to me. <coughs> Going back to my, um, you know, what's available for to me as as Debra, um, you know, again, because you know I'm logged in. Uh, sorry, Megan, not Deb, and I can see like information that's relevant to me, right? So if I wanted to, for example, um, you know, focus a little bit, I can play this three minute um, video from Headspace to bring in some focus. If I wanted to, it's immediately um, available to me. I can play it back do some, you know, maybe meditation. I can take a break. Um, I can, you know, send praises to my coworkers uh, if I wanted to encourage that culture of, you know, sending kudos if I wanted to um, for specific project work, especially, especially since we are, we are all remote and we can see each other, maybe to kind of say thanks in person, but I can, uh, you know, use this um, as a way to encourage that, that, that culture of, you know, sending praise for various, uh, you know, for all sort of different work. I can see all the praises that I have received. Going further, I can also, going back to the home page, um, uh, like for example, quiet time. Have I f uh, booked enough quiet time for myself? I can share my focus plan with my team, uh, which means that, you know, I can say that, okay, if I wanted to, um, you know, focus time preference for my team. I can invite, you know, recipients and be like, um, you know, I will choose some plan settings and customize uh, their invitation. And I can be like, hey guys, you know, I wanted to say, you know, please go ahead and, uh, you know, book this time, focus time for yourself. So I can encourage again, going back to that, um, achieving the uh, uh, balance. Inspiration library is great. Um, I can see information and read articles that that are again in the context of, of for example, um, you know, achieving the uh, balance at work, um, the right to disconnect from work. So, super, you know, I mean, I think these are amazing information that is that is being uh, <clears throat> well picked uh, for that purpose. When I look at, sorry, uh, let's go back to well being. Um, so um, I like this space here where I can look at various aspects of if I wanted to book some focus time for myself between 2 or 3.30, um, I can do that right here in the context of my working and I don't have to leave. I'm right here inside um, Microsoft Teams. This is where I can, again, as part of what I was saying earlier, uh, you know, take a moment to reflect and better understand my emotions, how I was doing the last few weeks uh, in terms of my emotional well balance is maybe and I can sort of because once we see it, then we can maybe take action on it. So, you know, if, if I'm always down here um, and, and probably there is something that I need to be addressing. Um, going further when it comes to productivity, I think this is uh, I can see meeting categories, meeting efficiency and meeting habits, which is to me very important. Again, this is all me, right? This is just me as uh, Megan. Sure, yeah, I'm still Megan. <laughs> and um, what I like about this is like, you know, um, healthy meeting habits, like always join on time. Um, you know, I ended on time, all my meetings. Um, I didn't multitask for the most part, 85% of the time. Um, and uh, I failed to add a team link to my meetings for the most part. Um, but, you know, these are, it, it actually makes me aware, right? So if I, if I'm not aware of this, how would I know how, what to do? And I can go into the specific deep meeting, uh, you know, if I want to go back and not look at specific meeting and I look at the specific statistics on that meeting, I can see exactly, uh, what did I do right? So there's a green checkbox. So what did I do wrong? And uh, again, providing me 
with the uh, detailed information. Cool. Um, <clears throat> teamwork, I'm going to uh, focus on this and then essentially. Um, again, me as a, as an organizational leader, I can look at uh, whether it's just on my team and um, or at the entire organization. I can see how many people are currently there. 549. Average weekly one on one time meeting. I can see the trend over the last few months, what that time looked like and go from there. Now, another aspect of Viva Insight is um, which is I, what I really like is the uh, Viva Insights uh, Outlook plugin. So as I'm drafting an email, right? So, uh, you know, let's say again, in the context of my work, uh, there is this Viva Insight plugin, <clears throat> which kind of helps like almost like a little assistant, like an AI assistant. And it helps me, it sends me reminders like, hey, get reminders of tasks and unread emails. Uh, Okay, I mark that as important. Plan your time away. Uh, prepare for meetings. Follow up on your requests. You know, it, it actually recognizes that you know during some of my uh, conversation, I was you know maybe committing to sending some documentation over, and it tells me like, hey, did you follow up? Uh, is this done? Have you maybe talk with um, you know this and that person? Uh, you know, and and maybe follow up on that information. So it's it's perfect because I can now, uh, you know, it drafts an email uh, with the introduction of, of chat GPT. There's some additional cool stuff coming out. But if you were just focusing on the Viva inside piece of it, it's it's super powerful. So again, it's it's available in the context of my work. The other cool thing is once I sent out an email, um, Viva also provides me with additional context around, uh, you know, was this email, uh, you know, let's say I'm, um, if I send this email, let's say to five people, I can see some read statistics, you know, uh, whether it was opened uh, and then how many people opened it up and get some more additional insights into that. Last but not least for organizational leaders, this is where it gets super, um, uh, in my opinion, uh, powerful because there are Power BI dashboards um, for uh, leadership to better understand those meeting habits, communication, and collaboration patterns, right? So I can drill down into specifics, like for example, manager capacity. Do managers have enough time for the employees? As you know, with Power BI experience, it's seamless, it's interactive, it's cross-filtering information for you, so uh, you don't have to be an BI expert to navigate through these reports. And in the interest of time, I'm not going to go too deep into it. I'm just going to highlight certain areas, um, and you can read specifics on, you know, for example, coaching. Are employees receiving, uh, you know, sufficient coaching time? Uh, what are the statistics? And then I can see why does it matter? Um, I think this is beautiful because um, at the end of the day, we know maybe certain things, uh, but why does it matter? Why is it important in the context of the overall employee experience? <clears throat> so rich reports and dashboards always available uh, for each, you know, and again, you can see, um, empowerment right connections why is it important um for example uh well connected uh how well connected are managers and do they leverage a network to build connections for the employees um, i can look at it by various um, departments and how they kind of you know how they stack against the other departments super rich uh you know information and if you're a BI, um, if, if you really want to get into the details, you can always look at the data model and all the formulas that are available and how it pulls in the information from various uh, tables from Microsoft Graph and enrich that data with additional data and model. So if you wanted to, for example, change these graphs and provide it, maybe you should look at it in a different way, you can certainly do that. So. Really, the sky is the limit. <clears throat> okay. 
Um, let me pause here to see if there are any questions in the chat. Sorry that I'm. Um, want to make sure. Yeah, I see something in there. OK. Is time off a Teams app? Time off. Uh, oh, good. I'm going to have shown this part of the dynamic series. OK, cool. Thanks, Dustin. So I think that is addressed. And moving on, because I know we have a few more components to, to discuss, and I'm going to go quickly to my presentation. <clears throat> and so we want to make sure that we discuss Vivo Learning. Um, so Vivo Learning um, is basically, um, you know, as our a Microsoft uh, learning portal to aggregate your learning management system and third party content provider to make that again an, a unique experience for your employees, not having to leave uh, Microsoft Teams to access their learning information. So here we go. Um, I'm gonna just, just skip the, uh, the presentation and just get right into the demo. And I think given that we have, we also need to talk about Viva topics. So there is your Viva learning. Uh, landing page. So again, I'm not leaving Teams to access my learning. Um, and here I can come in and see, for example, what is assigned to me as an individual. My manager may have assigned uh, certain learning classes to me. Again, me being a great employee, I've already finished all my uh, assignments and classes, but I can still go back and see what stuff that I bookmarked, uh, what has been recommended by based on AI, um, because it, it it detects the pattern and understands what you're involved with, what classes you looked at. And I can come here and have that more of a curated experience. Uh, and so my manager can recommend um, classes and for me. So if I wanted to, uh, if I wanted to get more into marketing details, uh, I can come here and maybe recommend this. Maybe I want to send this to my team and be like, <clears throat> you know, making sure that this class gets done maybe by the end of June and do a recommendation. Also as an admin, uh, I have the ability to, uh, uh, not from here, but as a learning admin, I can surface third party information. Uh, for example, your Coursera, Udemy, uh, plural sites, uh, but also LMS, uh, you know, third party, um, uh, LMS systems. Um, I'm going to quickly show this slide to make sure that we have a good understanding of all the um, what we have currently available. So the good news is Viva Learning already comes with Microsoft 365 training and Microsoft Learn at no additional charge to you. And there are 125 link LinkedIn uh, learning courses also included as part of that experience. So you can start kicking the tires, uh, look at uh, a LinkedIn classes are amazing, well curated, um, <clears throat> really uh, nice, nicely produced. Um, but also if you wanted to bring in your third party content provider, you know, typical suspects, the edX, plural sites, Coursera, or if you're more of an SAP success factor shop, you can surface that information into Microsoft uh, Viva Learning. Also, you can include SharePoint content. So if you have various, you know, let's say you have simplified, uh, <clears throat> you know, let's say you have pre PowerPoint uh, presentation sent by HR for, let's say, uh, you know, certain aspects of, of behavior at work, you can surface that also through uh, Viva Learning. So you can actually, uh, so, you know, uh, make that surface that class also uh, through the same interface. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, and um, you know, I can also see what's trending overall in the organization. And as an admin, I have a, uh, I have a way of presenting uh, those courses or actually making those courses pop up here as a featured course or class over here so when I land I can you know see immediately uh, okay there is an ADP planning session that I should be 
possibly attending as a as an employee. So that's people learning and uh, that the basics uh, people learning license is included in your Office 365. Uh, moving on to Viva Topics. Um, so Viva Topics is essentially, uh, and for that I may have to use my presentation because there are a couple of good slides in there <clears throat> that kind of set the stage for uh, Viva Topics. So um, organizations have tons of data and that doesn't stop. Data keeps growing uh, because we're just generating tons of uh, data and, and various information, whether it's like PowerPoint, Dex, uh, Word, uh, Word documents, SharePoint sites, Teams, conversations. So all that information is there. But it's also difficult to find the right information and sift through the duplication and uh, finding out who is the authority on specific topic, right? So if you're working on various projects and your organization, who is the SME for you know project X or who is the SME for this product? This is kind of where <clears throat> uh, Viva Topics uh, comes into play. It's at a very high level, it's AI scrubbing the contents in your Office 365, uh, you know, repositories, mainly SharePoint, and it turns information into knowledge. So imagine you have like maybe hundred of uh, or you know documents uh, specific about the uh, you know specific to a project, uh, and Viva um, topics takes that information, it just tries to deduce, uh, you know, who is this me on it, uh, who is the authority, and it takes the first step and turning that information into what's it, what's called a topic page. A topic page is nothing but a SharePoint page, but it, it organizes and categorizes all those various um, information into a nicely organized uh, knowledge page. But it also just doesn't publish that information. It it actually it has checks and balances in place. So uh, me as a uh, <clears throat> for example, uh, let me actually step over here uh, one second. So there are various um, personas that are involved in that knowledge discovery role. So there's the knowledge administrator who can say who has a say in terms of okay, what repositories should AI uh, go into and trying to index the contents because sometimes they might have you know off limits repositories and document you know document libraries that are super confidential so you can exclude those repositories uh, then you have knowledge managers that can do a quality check <clears throat> make sure that you know uh, those topics are assigned to topic owners and um, you know have the ability of creating, editing, deleting, and rejecting topics. And there's your topic contributor SME. This is the, the SME in charge of that project, or maybe uh, it's a project lead, and everyone else that consumes that knowledge. So how does it look like? And actually, uh, uh, let's take a look at it and see what the, uh, how do I even access that topic, right? The flow of my work. <clears throat> So if I go here, let's say I want to uh, draft an email and I can do that also inside Microsoft Teams. It's already incorporated into all these, um, you know, whether it's inside Teams, SharePoint or email. So I'm just sending an email maybe to Adele. And um, talking about project. Um, I forgot. Um, oh, also. There's so many different topics, so I'm going to start with the hashtag. And you notice I'm in the flow of my email, right? I haven't left my email. I'm just drafting email. And as soon as I put a hashtag, uh, it activates project. It activates Viva topics. So I'm going to talk. I wanted to actually talk about project SOAR. And so uh, maybe I just put that in my email. And so I'm like, uh, OK, hey Adele. <clears throat> what the status uh, of project SOAR, uh, S-O-R, S-O-A-R. And so if I hover over that 
topic, I can see information that was again um, created by AR, but also curated by a human being. So it's not complete the AI going scrubbing all the information that's out there, but also there are some checks and balances as well as uh, if I don't have information, if I don't have access inherently to see the documentation in there, I wouldn't be able to see this project to begin with, nor can I research access any of these documents that are associated with that uh, topic. So here we go. <clears throat> and when I send this over to Adele, obviously um, it's the same thing, same experience for her. So here's my sent items. And so when she gets the email, she hovers over the information. She can see more details on it, which now takes me to that actual topic page. So um, which is very powerful because I can now you can see truly what's going on. You know, what is that project all about? Sustainable operations, etc. So that's the name of the project. I can see who are the pinned people. So this is again <clears throat> people that are authoritative on this subject. So these are maybe SMEs, right? Uh, these are the various files that were pinned to the top, meaning that these are. Um, you know, the kind of more relevant documentation. Obviously there are suggested files, suggested sites. There is a topic map, which further uh, illustrates like, you know, how this topic is connected to, uh, you know, other topics, right? Because, uh, you know, me, uh, you know, a lot of times all these projects they could be well connected. You know, there is a confirmed relationship between this and Contoso Electronics. Uh, there is suggested relationships, which is um, shown by dotted lines. I can also ask questions if I wanted to, like, you know, for example, uh, when is this project going live? And so now I'm actually using Yammer component, right, as part of the experience in Viva Topics. And so here, um, next time if, if someone asks the question, actually uh, Viva Topics will present that as an answer when, when the answer is given. But you notice the entire time I'm in the uh, context of, uh, you know, Office 365, I can look at various topics that have been uh, confirmed by AI and, and also uh, where it has been published. If I'm a knowledge manager, I can come in and maybe delete certain or remove certain specific topics. I can also see specific like impressions, how many times this specific topics was looked at, when was it created, and additional information pertaining to topic. Now, <clears throat> topic is an added SKU inside Viva, and so uh, we can definitely send you some more information on that. And uh, I'm going to pause here, see if there are any questions in the chat. Okay, nothing yet. Perfect. So <clears throat> just to recap uh, what we've covered so far, uh, you know, when it comes to all these various components of Viva, um, I'd like to go back to my initial um, slide here. I'm going to maybe display this. <clears throat> and I'll, yeah, Viva Gold, so I'm going to get into that really quick as well. But the four pillars of Viva, the original four pillars, connections, insights, topics, and learning <clears throat> provide that um, uh, for me. I mean, we use it at Microsoft a lot. I use, um, you know, uh, learning myself a lot and uh, Viva Insights. Uh, Viva Insights automatically gives me a reminder at the end of the day to mindfully wrap my day and uh, it's called a virtual commute. Um, and also it allows me to book focus time. So if I wanted to look at my emails, look at my uh, meetings, prep for my meetings. And so it's it's all essentially one platform. And the beauty of it is it's all inside Microsoft Teams. <clears throat> so again, I don't have to leave Microsoft Teams to go and open up another component. Also, like if you think about it, if you have your Coursera, edX, or all these plural sites pages, your employees don't have to go out there and open those pages. They can access it all within Viva Learning inside Teams. 
last but not least, uh, let me quickly um, talk about Viva Goals. <clears throat> and Goals is essentially an OKR platform, which is objective, which is set at the organizational level. And I can see what specific objectives that are set. And for me, I can see what, how I can contribute to meet that objective by setting various uh, the results and also projects that are relevant to make the needle move on that specific objective. For example, um, you know, expand into Latin American market. That's a very broad goal, but how do I actually can, how do I uh, make that happen, right? So those are specific steps where I can come in as an individual contributor, right? And I can click on this goal and say, yes, we are uh, maybe 80% there. And so update this. And consequently, it actually updates the goal, which obviously now is super skewed, but uh, I can also have projects that are relevant to this goal, right? That can again, uh, where I can come in. This can be manually updated or it can be updated to Azure DevOps if there are maybe specific uh, projects that you're tracking or even like Excel spreadsheets. So <clears throat> this is kind of Viva goals and this is also an additional uh, component. It's not included in your Office 365 license. Um, what I'd like to leave you with at the end uh, are two links. Um, there is the uh, Viva adoption page, which is, uh, you know, has tons of great information for all of us, uh, I mean, <clears throat> whether you want to kick the tires or if you want to look at, you know, what are, you know, what is the Viva guide for managers? Um, what are the uh, work trends uh, index reports and how do you engage your organization, right? All these various components that you have in there. How do you train your organization? Lots of great community <laughs> information and blogs. And you can actually do a deeper dive into each one of these components in Viva. And so we have some new components that are coming out like Viva Pulse, which is um, you know, essentially getting a pulse on your organization in terms of feedback that will empower managers and team leaders to get real-time insights. Uh, but also, um, for example, Glint, and also we have Viva Amplify, which is in preview right now, but there's a lot of information that's out here, which can keep you up, you know, informed. I'm going to pause here, see if there are any questions. I know we only were at the hour and. Uh, OK. Excellent. So hopefully this was somewhat helpful to give you a high level overview about Viva as an employee experience platform. Again, my name is Ross Giassi and um, thank you team for uh, helping me moderate this webinar. Any last comments from our team? Awesome. Thank you again. You have a fantastic day. Thanks. Bye-bye.